Welcome to Stillworks in Bruin. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation in Bruin. So what are we going to get into today? Uh, I bought me a new piece of equipment for the brew house. Uh, I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. Um, it's an air sill. Uh, I thought it'd be great for um, doing some experimental uh, recipes and such. Well, let's look inside the box and see what we got, all right? Okay, so we got some instructions, some power cords, um, some cleaner, All right, there's the top, and of course, the I'm quite sure what that is. Oh, this is the glass can uh, bottle that you collect with. Okay. Looks pretty neat. I got a few different recipes I want to try out. Uh, I got some... Uh, I wanted to make it a type of a gin. I heard these are pretty darn good for that. Okay, so this is a quick start guide here. It's all made out of stainless steel. I forget what the name brand is. I'll have to let you know. Got it on Amazon. It wasn't too awful hateful in price. Uh, this holds about one gallon. So uh, we'll uh, clean everything up with that. And we'll be come up with some uh, recipes. One thing I want to try to start with first is a, like I said a few minutes ago, is I'm going to make me a, a, a nice, uh, real rich gin with a lot of botanicals in it, uh, hops and everything else. That's the one thing my wife really likes. So uh, that's one thing I'd like to do. You know how it is. Happy wife, happy life. All right. So I'll have to get all this put together. It looks pretty, pretty well built. I mean, like I said, it's all pure stainless steel. It's variable temp, so I can adjust the temperature that I want. Uh, some of them are just on and off. Uh, I kind of like this one because it, it did, so you can set the temperature. Okay. All right, so I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, I had to get it all cleaned up, run some uh, clean runs through it, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here's our air still are all set up and if you notice here that is the temperature of the liquid inside and then to set it you press the set button once you can go up and down with the temperature if you press it again okay that is the amount of degrees that it's a differential so if the if it meets its target temperature then it's whatever you set it takes go down that much temperature before it kicks back on okay so that's the differential and then you click the third time you come back to uh, the original temperature okay um, and then all you have to do is you hit start the red light will come on fan will come on and it's I only have about a gallon of water and I've been running water through it just to clean it out and I, I will do a a vinegar run or something after this to clean make sure it's all nice and clean 
but you'll notice once the element heats up it, it's pretty quick one it goes up above see it's already starting to climb now see I'm really looking forward to trying this thing out it's all be a lot of fun interesting I'm gonna do some experimental uh, distillation with it uh, everything looks so well made the only downfall for me is <laughs> and is it only reads in Celsius for the rest of the world there's no problem for uh, but here in the US we're also used to Fahrenheit it's it's hard to get used to Celsius even though it makes the most sense in the world okay but uh, like I said before we're really looking forward to getting into this uh, I think we're gonna make some uh, pretty good uh, this look with it make some, make some good drink all right so last thing to say is hey thanks for stopping by we'll see you next time here on Stillworks and Brewing